hello it's been so long since i've done an intro i missed you guys and as you can tell by the setup things are different than before but i'll talk about all that later right now let's get into these markers so i got some graduation money from high school which i spent on these artex oro markers um they're alcohol based i got the pastel set with 40 markers and two artist collab sets with 12 markers each they're all brush and tizzle chip, and you know, I love that. So I wanted to see how they hold up in comparison to other ones I use, like my Ohuhu markers. Swatch time! I know some people don't like swatching, even though I personally find it super satisfying, so I tried to speed it up as much as possible. But be wary of the flashing, because the lighting in my room is not good at all, and I couldn't keep my big head out of the frame without sacrificing the aesthetic of the swatches, so just be wary of that. Using these markers for the first time was a really enjoyable experience, and especially with the pastel markers, since there's so many of them, I felt like I had a bunch of choices. They were all like perfectly light. I got really worried that they were going to be way too dark just because of the color of the cap seemed pretty dark on some of them, but whenever I like actually drew with them and I swatched them on the paper, they were all really light and pastel, so I was very pleasantly surprised. The first markers that I used was the collaboration set with Alaba BG. I went ahead and drew something up and lined it already in my sketchbook. It's a pretty girl who I thought that the colors would look really nice with. I tried doing this video a while back actually, but the drawings I made I just hated. So I really wanted to make sure I get it right this time. Again, with this one, I could not keep my big head out of the frame, so I do apologize for that. But I do really like how this turned out. I had a hard time picking which colors I wanted for her hair, and I know I wanted her to be dark skin, or at least darkest skin that was in this pack that I could possibly work with. So I didn't want the hair to stand out, like, a ridiculous amount to where it was like, that does not look good at all. So I kind of struggled with that, but with the swatches on the side that I did, again, because I love swatches, they really helped me and I had a really good time using these markers. I'm a massive brush tip marker fan and uh, yeah, these were pretty good. I love my Ohuhu markers because there was just way more selections with the brush tips and as far as I know, I own all the Artex brush tips that there are as far as I know with these ones, the pastel set and then the two artist collaborations. So if they make more in the future, then I'd definitely be willing to try them too. And for the second drawing, I made a girl to go along with the first girl that I drew. They are kind of magical girl inspired, and this one specifically, I took inspiration from the drawing on the box because the style is much more appealing to me than the first one. No hate to the art at all on Alba BG's box. It's beautiful, but it's definitely not my kind of vibe. So I, I did take more inspiration from the box on this set than I did the first one. To be honest, the outfit on this character doesn't really make sense at all, I don't think, but I did have a lot of fun drawing it, so I'm not too mad about it. They're kind of like high fantasy, well not high fantasy, but you know, a little fantasy-ish with the, like I said, a little bit magical girl inspired because I just can't help it. She looks a lot more hardcore than the girl before her, which I really like the contrast between the two of them, and her colors are a lot more... I'd say contrasting to another because like, you know, the reds and purples, I'm not one to put reds and purples together just because I'm very much have a comfort zone when it comes to how I color things, but I'm a big fan of how this one turned out. I'm not going to deny it. <laughs> I really love drawing pretty girls and you know, I don't really do original art all that often, especially on my YouTube channel, just because I love drawing fan art for stuff I like so much. I'm very, very biased towards stuff like that, but you know, this was really fun for me and it was a good experience. Okay, so the markers. I did find out that there is another Artex Oro set, which I don't own, that is the Christmas set. I'm not too worried about that though, since it replaces two slots that would be alcohol markers with water-based metallic markers, which I find incredibly oh. disappointing, since metallic water-based markers are so cheap to make compared to alcohol markers. But the price of that set is the same as the sets that come with 12 alcohol markers instead of just 10. So you're basically being charged more for a product that is lower quality. That being said, the two artist collaboration sets are $19.99 USD each. All Everything's going to be in USD from right now, which runs about $170 per marker in comparison to Copic, whose markers run about $8 to $9 per marker. 
with the bigger pastel set that has 40 markers instead of 12 like the smaller ones, it runs $49.99 USD, which is about $1.26 per marker. So when you're comparing these other cheaper alcohol marker alternatives, specifically Ohuhu, who has a $120 set of brush tip markers for $99.99, runs about $0.84 cents per marker, which is cheaper compared to the Artex marker. And although it is cheaper, it does, and it does have more marker color options, you gotta weigh the pros and cons with this kind of thing. With stuff like this, it's definitely a person-by-person -person basis. With Artex, you get significantly cuter and higher quality packaging and cute stickers of the art on the box with each set. But with the Ohuhu, the packaging takes up significantly less space, in my experience, and has a lot more color options, which I know I use every single day. I'm not going to make a final verdict for y'all because I love alcohol markers in general and I don't regret sp the money I spent on any of these. So if you're looking to get yourself something nice, I'd take into consideration everything I've set up until now and make a decision for yourself. Here's the drawings that I did in this video, not including the speed paint because I don't think that counts. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all soon for another video. Bye!